It is a great pleasure for me to welcome you here at Moscow State University and especially in our institute. And I'd like to tell that, to say that uh, GRB field is a rather new field for our institute. But of course we worked with gamma ray in space for a long time, but GRB is quite new field, a little bit new field for us. And due to the establishment in the nearest past, the new laboratory led by Professor George Smoot, Extreme Universe Laboratory, I suppose it will help us to make this field broader and broader and broader in our university, in our institute. We, um, uh, we are working together with physics department of Moscow State University and therefore I suppose this new field will help us to recruit new students uh, to this field. So thank you very much for your coming. Uh, and now I would like to ask you to say just a few words. Uh, George, please come. Really pleased that you made it here. We had several people that it was very close whether they would get their visas in time and some people who didn't get their visas in time. So we're, we have a couple of empty chairs because of people whose invitations didn't appear too soon. However, we, we think that this is really important to have a good workshop and to plan because we are very interested in, in doing the frontier kind of science we can do, studying the progenitors of gamma ray burst, studying what the early universe was like with gamma ray burst, and studying the physics of what gamma ray bursts uh, are like. And that gives you information about the formation of black holes, if the theory is correct, but gives you information about the uh, mechanisms for how the light is actually emitted, how the gamma rays and so forth come out. So we think that there are several questions of great interest scientifically uh, that range from fundamental physics to cosmology in terms of their import, and, uh, but they depend upon both good instrumentation and good mission planning as well as understanding the theory. And so we want to have a workshop to start thinking about those issues to figure out what is the science that we can do in the shorter term and in the longer term, and how can we build up to that. And so we, we had this list of questions about if we measure the polarization, is that going to give us the best information about that? If we can measure sort of the lower energy, lower flux ones, and get their direction quickly, uh, those are the ones that are likely to be the most high redshift. So, so there's a series of scientific questions that we want to be driven by here. We want to know what, what is it that we could measure about gamma ray bursts and about the, you know, their progenitors and the medium around them. What are the measurements we could make that are very interesting and are ones we could do in the short term and, and the longer term in terms of missions? So we have rough ideas about those, but some things are much better formed than others and some things have been thought out and more, more carefully. And so there, you'll see there's a talk about polarization, how to make polarization measurements. So we had two questions, right? How can we make them? How well can we make them? Second of all, what does it tell us about it? So those are the kind of questions that we, we would like to address. And so we wanted to have a series of talks, but we wanted to have some discussions, and we're hoping this will inspire people to think of some joint papers or some joint projects that we can do uh, as a result of that so that we can do that. And uh, this is a learning experience for us, both in running the conference and learning the kind of workshop information that we have to build up for what we want to do for the next generation. So it's, it's important to bring the people here, and we even value the, the students, the three students who made it here. <laughs> Wave your hands. <laughs> the students are too shy, but we, we want to engage them because we want them to become the people who are doing their theses and doing their postdoc work on this kind of activity. So anyway, thank you uh, very much for coming, and even more for participating and helping us understand how to attack these problems. <laughs>